There is Jordan Slivka at 165. He got a win over Hornfeck last year at 157. He's wrestling up at 165 this year. He's got some experience in and around the national rankings. Slivka out of Indianapolis. There's Peyton Hall's music as he comes out of the wings. He had a win by Penn over Ohio last year. Penn Sean O'Dwyer wrestling at 165 for Ohio last year. Second most pins with five this season. Won by technical fall against Fairmont State. Went two and two at Midlands, but Coach Tim Flynn said that he really didn't wrestle his best. They're kind of working on some things, maybe getting away from some of what he does best. So he's looking to simplify some things and get back to the meat and potatoes tonight. Well, I think that's part of the challenge, right? You become successful doing something, and then people start to shut you down a little bit. And you have to have some counters to that, and you have to be able to make some adjustments. And then in the process of making those adjustments, you're not as solid with certain things. And that's there's that, well, that's why they call it an adjustment period. Right. There's, there's that point that you're, that you're adopting some new stuff before it becomes more secondhand. Boy, I, I, my knee feels like I'm just gonna rip it right apart every single time <laughs> I watch him do that. I, man, that makes me hurt. Yeah, some of these moves hurt to uh, watch a little bit more than others. I'd have been in the ambulance, holy cow. <laughs> we even needed those athletic trainers, holy smokes. But it's one of the things that makes him good. He does a nice job of, of getting into places and, and not giving up those takedowns. Tries to turn and get out of trouble here. Slivka's working the ankle. Slivka's trying to get his head out when he gets his head. Man, he cranks on that knee, and Hall does a keeps working around that corner. But he, Slivka's done a nice job of getting in on the leg two times. Hasn't been able to finish it. Ohio hasn't wrestled since December 19th. They win over Gardner Webb. Slivka had a tough double overtime loss. Well, and here's the thing. He does a little seatbelt, but he's got that wizard on. Slivka does a nice job of countering, and now we're going to try to rip it through. There's two for Peyton Hall. You can see Slivka thinking about trying to dive back underneath there, but Hall does a nice job of keeping his hip low and drives him back into the mat for a two-point takedown. Well, Ohio wrestled a lot of st a lot on the front end of this on the front end of the season. Right? They're, only, they're only two and zero in duels, but they were at a lot of multi-team events, and they'll be at another one next weekend in Virginia. There's an escape. But you're right; they've had a lot of wrestling for being a team that's only in their third duel of the season. Well, they've done a lot of tournaments on the front end, and and that was one of the reasons they didn't wrestle over the break. They wanted to get some some an actual break. And that's what Coach Greenlee said. It's a bit of uncharted waters for his program. He's a veteran guy, 26 years. He says they often wrestle at Christmas tournament. And so they've tried to use this time off as best they can for a program that doesn't really know how to have that time off. There's two more for Peyton Hall. This may come down, Tony, to who has the better stamina of these two wrestlers. Well, that's a lot of matches. I, I, you know, but again, he's in good position most of the time. Now, he gave up a couple of shots early, Hall did, but he counters and he stays there and doesn't give up those points. And then he starts figuring out a little bit of angles and he does a better job of reading hips and, and he starts to work his way through it. And once he gets on top, man, he's pretty tough up here. So here's the difference between Peyton Hall and Hornfeck at the moment. You see Peyton Hall burying Slivka down into the mat where Hornfeck lets, slip, uh, lets, lets Keller's hips come up, right? Yeah. And, he now, and, then he, and now he doesn't have the, the same control on the top, and he's not burying, where Hall does a nice job of keeping him buried into the mat like there that. There's a constant in what we're seeing from Peyton Hall, and that's that constant downward pressure. This is Hall's first. Watch the quickness. Just does a nice job of jumping to the corner after a small bad shot, and then he attacks him on the side and does a nice job of getting the takedown from there. Sweeps the leg, and now Peyton Hall trying to dictate the pace in the second period. Oh, geez. That spot for Slipka got right up on Hall's back. Yeah. Almost, almost took out our official Jason Rivera on the far side. <laughs> I thought he was going to find himself. You got to be careful. Business into that. 
There's Jason Rivera. It's never good to take a, a heel in the side of the head. He might have taken two. Yeah. The way the way it slipped his body is being flipped up. Well, and he's over there too to make sure that they don't spill out onto the floor. Right. Here comes Slifka like a flapjack at the Waffle House at 2 a.m. Is that the spilling out on the floor thing? Is that what you were doing with that? I don't know. Okay. I don't a, lot, a lot of things spilling out of the Waffle House at 2 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> you sound like you have experience with that. <laughs> it, is, it is a time. It is a time. So again, Hall doing a nice job of, of burying him down there in the hip. And you see Slipka just sort of allowed himself to sit there. Not really, though, doing it, allowing Hall to, like, cross wrist, right? Reach across, grab a wrist from one side or the other. Does a nice job of keeping his wrists and elbows because his elbows are in and his palms are out. He is clearly on the defensive at this point. Well, now he does a nice job of getting to his feet. He's going to get an escape here. Second win for Jordan Slivka. Work in the final minute of the second period. And so this is the one area, I mean, Hall does a nice job again with his shot, but then goes up around the waist. He likes going around the waist and then sort of limping arm and out here and stepping on the on the back side of this to try to get himself a, a takedown. And he does that pretty well for the most part. But now he's got to drive in because Slifka's now turned and grabbed his ankle on that far side. The waist more of the entry for Peyton Hall when he goes elsewhere and I we haven't given a there's no takedown that's been signaled one way or the other and we've got about five seconds left in the period it looks like we're gonna yeah, we're gonna two. get a takedown right there at the buzzer well, Tim Flynn wanted it I don't know if you could see it in the if you, you had on screen I was watching the actual action of the mat here but he was screaming for two and as soon as the official threw it up he's like now it's about time you know well there's not a coach in the country who's not over there screaming for two right that's I mean true. that <laughs> Except for Joel, he's on the other side telling, that's not two, he's got nothing, he's got nothing, right? <laughs> that's, that's the sport, right? So what, what happens here is he works his foot loose eventually, and then he gets a two-point takedown. So Hall up 6-2. See, he's won by shortening several matches, and he's been able to score three major decisions this year for West Virginia, and that would probably be his point of emphasis at imagine the third period here. Well, he's got to get out first, right? So Slipka does a nice job just uh, throwing some legs in, does a cross-body ride, and Hall gets a stalemate there, but he's got to generate a little more movement off the bottom and does there. This time he doesn't let Slipka get that leg in, isolates the arm, gets himself the turn, able to turn and get himself the escape. Now, now with oceans of riding time at this point, he's definitely going to get that point. More riding time than time in the third period well I he's, he's on pace for it right at the moment right so one of the things again that that I think he still needs to work on is when he gets into these situations you see how straight his legs are it'd be nice to see him get down a little bit because when you start to then go underneath like you just did there which he does a nice job of two more you sort of telegraph it a little bit right because now you drop you drop like that and your legs bend and so you're telegraphing it a little bit and i think sometimes when he's wrestling guys that are that are the one two three four five guys that 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 makes a little bit of a difference and it makes it a little harder for him to score in those particular situations you gotta be tactically clean to wrestle Anybody in the top five or ten, I would say. Well, I think it's one of the things that, that he that he's been closing the gap on a little bit with, with O'Toole from, from Missouri, who right. he wrestled in the semifinals last year, and then we're in the duel, where he's closing the gap a little bit. But those are the things; those those little things like that make a difference between whether you score or not on high-end caliber people who don't give you a lot of space. All credit to Jordan Slivka; he battled here in this one. Just a little bit more in the tank for Peyton Hall. Just the sixth native West Virginian to achieve All-American status with WVU and the first to do it at class 165 last year. He's going to come away with a 9-3 win here. Peyton Hall gets the W for West Virginia, and they get back in the win column after the loss at 157. So the dual score goes to 19 to 3. West Virginia out in front. Peyton Hall wins his 14th of the season. We'll take a break. More to come. You're watching Big 12 Now on ESPN+.